Hello everyone, good morning. So I hope you all are good. Okay, so in today's class, we will be mostly discussing sound waves uh, and in it we will discuss Doppler effect. We will do questions over that. We will discuss organ pipe. And again, we will be doing questions over that. So let's get started. And the very first question that I'm going to give is from uh, SHN, right? So uh, this question came in some 2021. Let's uh, first try this question. And after that, we will be moving on to sound wave. Okay? So let's do this. Here on the screen, you can see the very first question. I'm giving for this 3.5 minutes to you or uh, take four minutes, read the question carefully and try doing it. Okay, your time starts now, uh, do it. Look at the force carefully. Uh, this force is uh, seems like directly proportional to displacement and again uh, directed oppositely to the displacement. That is F equal to minus something. Now. So look at the things carefully and try solving it. If anyone finds any difficulty, you can let me know through chat box, okay? I will help you with the question also. But yes, please try it, everyone. Language of question is very easy. I hope you all must be getting it. Take one more minute and do it.
Okay, so uh, let me explain it. So what the question is, uh, there is a particle of mass 1 kg then, and this is getting subjected to a force. Force is given as F equal to minus of KXI cap plus KYJ cap then. Now with K, K values given in the question, at T equal to zero, particles position vector is given and that is this. And also its velocity is given at t equal to zero. It's something like this. Okay. So let Vx and Vy denote the x and y component of particles velocity respectively. Ignore gravity. So question is when z equal to 0 0.5, what will be the value of this? So one very lengthy way of solving it can be like key. here force is given as force in the x direction is minus kx i cap done. So from here, you can calculate acceleration in the x direction. We can do that. Then this is uh, this force, if this force is acting along the x direction, then because of this force, particle will execute SFM in x direction done because here force is directly proportional to x with negative sign done. So ax we can calculate, vx we can calculate done. And we can see that when z equal to 0 0.5, we can calculate the value of x. Because if we know vx, ax, we can also calculate x, right? Similarly, we can do the same thing for y and all and uh, simply calculate the values and put it here. Then that will become very much lengthy. What easy thing we can do here is if we look at the question very carefully, question is something like, uh, if I'm drawing, going to draw the xy plane, uh, like the particle is moving in xy, z plane, because it is said that when z equal to, because its initial velocity is also in z direction, force is only acting along x and y direction. Initial position vector is only along x and y, means initially the body is in xy plane, but its velocity is in all these three directions. So particle is moving in xy, z plane, right? So uh, something like that. Now look at the force carefully. Force is what? X i cap plus y j cap. This force will pass through the origin or not. What is given here? Fx equal to minus kx. Fy equal to minus ky. If you are going to uh, take the ratio of uh, Fx by Fy, it will come as x by y. Done. Or you can say here that x is equal to y. If fx equal to fy, you will see x equal to y. Dikh hai, you know? Simple like this force is passing through the origin such that uh, fx value will be equal to fy and its slope will be equal to how much? 45 degree. Done. So that's the case. Force is passing through the origin. One important thing. If force is passing through the origin, then we can say that the uh, like torque of this force around the origin will be zero. Done. And we know that the angular momentum around any point is conserved if torque around that point is zero, external torque, right? So we can conserve angular momentum of the body, of this body around the origin because here force is passing through the origin. And if I'm going to calculate torque around the origin, uh, it will remain conserved because other force origin se hi pass kar raha hai. And if you are going to calculate its torque around the origin, R value is how much? Zero. Torque kya hota hai? Torque used to be R cross F. And since F is passing through O, R value is zero. There is no perpendicular distance between line of action of force and the point. Both are lying in the same line. Na? So uh, torque is going to be zero. So let's conserve angular momentum. So what will be the initial angular momentum? So how we calculate the value of angular momentum, right? So how angular momentum ka value kaise nikalte hai? Simple hai. L equal to what we used to write R cross NB. Done. So initial position vector is given. That is R here. This is R now. And initial velocity vector is also given. That is here. Mass of the body is given that is 1 kg. So vectorially, if I am going to do it, R cross MV, I can do it like this. Determinant ke form mein kar sakte hai na. So right here, I, J, K, R ka value aap pehle rakh do. R ka value kya hai? I is 1 by root 2. J value is how much? Root 2. K value is how much? 0. Done. And what is the velocity? MV ka value? M is 1. 
so 1 into v v only so let's write the value of v for uh, v i cap ke direction mein kitna hai minus root 2 for j cap it is root 2 for k cap it is 2 by pi so aap ek kaam karo uh, just calculate the value of this angular momentum if you are going to calculate it what we will be getting so i cap uh, uh, what value we are going to get 2 by pi root 2 minus 0 so in the j cap for second column we write minus sign you already must be knowing it so yahan pe kya aa jayega this will be 1 by root 2 into 2 by pi again minus 0 plus k cap and what will be the value for k cap it will be equal to 1 by root 2 into root 2 uh, minus root 2 into root 2 yahan pe minus hai to minus minus yahan pe plus ho jayega plus how much uh, sorry uh, will it be minus or plus uh, it seems like plus no yahan pe minus root 2 hai and this is root 2 so minus of uh, it should be plus actually just see the uh, uh, calculation carefully huh? so if it is written as 4 then so something like that we are getting now at any other time we can calculate uh, this value then because in the question we are asked variable value x by minus y dx so let's consider at any time t uh, sorry let's do it here only at any time t angular momentum can be written as what r ka value we can take as what r value can be taken as x y j k sorry z x y z and velocity can be written as vx vy vz done and then we can calculate momentum again so if now we are going to write the momentum what will be the values values will be x vy uh, sorry for i cap i'm going to write this is mistake here so for i cap first we will be writing what value you will be putting for i cap it will become y vz minus z vy okay minus j cap likhoge aap and how much it will be it will be x v z minus v x z done again what will be the value for k cap plus k cap karoge aap so this value will be x v y x v y minus y v x okay so these are the values you are going to get done okay four should be two ones thank you mujhe lag raha tha maine kuch mistake kiya hai हाँ यहाँ पे रूट टू इंटू रूट टू किया ना तो टू होगा थैंक यू सो यहाँ पे देखो हमने मोमेंटम निकाला इनिशियल मोमेंटम इज दिस दैट इज गिवन इन डिजिट फाइनल मोमेंटम एट एनी टाइम थी आई हैव टेकन एंड दैट इज कमिंग समथिंग लाइक दिस इनिशियल मोमेंटम शुड बी इक्वल टू फाइनल मोमेंटम सो इनिशियल मोमेंटम इन आई डिरेक्शन इज हाउ मच टू बाई फाइव रूट टू then so final momentum in i direction should be same so value of y v z minus z v y should be equal to how much 2 by pi root 2 done and similarly initial momentum in z j direction is this much and finally is this much so we will compare these two our interest point is lie here now final momentum at any time t in k direction is how much x v y minus y v x and it must be equal to initial momentum in this direction. And that is equal to how much? 1 by root 2 into root 2. So this will become 1. 1 plus 2 will become equal to how much? 3. So value of x by minus y vx became equal to 3. Done. So what you can see here clearly that if we would go on solving this question by using SHM equation, it will take lots of effort. Again, calculation will become lengthy, but if we see carefully that force is passing through the origin, we can conserve angular momentum around it. Again, this term, here the term is shown, from this term you should have guessed that we can do something Done. So we need to be highly careful and highly alert also at the same time. Let's go. Now let's understand, uh, in the previous class, uh, I have discussed so many things about wave we have written equation of waves and we also discussed the difference between traveling wave and a standing wave now uh, we need to be uh, we need to study about a standing wave on a string formulas are very important again most of the question comes from doppler effect and these uh, 
दिस स्टैंडिंग वे फॉर्मेशन ऑन स्ट्रिंग एंड ऑर्गन पाइप ठीक है तो यहाँ पे चलो एक बार रिवाइज कर लेते हैं क्विक रिविजन इट विल टेक सम फाइव मिनट सो लेट गो टू इट नाउ Now a standing wave on a string. So if a string is given like this, and if both the end of a string is fixed, fixed means this point of a string won't move. This point of a string also will not move. If both the points of a string are uh, fixed, then what sort of a standing wave can be created? So if this point cannot move, it means this point will become not. It will become not. Okay, and this point will also become not. done so uh, first kind of wave that can be created will look something like this because these two points has to be known right so this is this now if a string length is l and if we uh, go on to uh, writing l in terms of wavelength then you already know that ki this whole length of wave is taken as one lambda so half of this is half of the wave now so this length will be taken as how much lambda by 2 so here l is equal to lambda by 2 and from here we can calculate the frequency of this wave getting generated on the string how we can calculate frequency aapko pata hai ki velocity by lambda is written as frequency so here lambda can be written as what lambda can be uh, written as v by f so f can be written as v by l then so first frequency that can be excited on this string fixed at both ends will be fun, uh, will be v by l and this first frequency is called fundamental frequency or first harmonic so for a string uh, fixed at both end first harmonic or fundamental frequency is how much v by l now uh, this we can do for so many number of configuration second kind of wave that can be generated on this string will look like this only constraint is ki ye dono point ko hamesha hi note hona hai then so we can draw another wave like this also so l will be equal to lambda again i have told v by lambda will be equal to frequency so here lambda can be written as uh, what uh, sorry yahan pe lambda by 2 tha na 2 ko maine hata diya oh so uh, here 2l hoga na sorry L is equal to uh, v by f into two. Two two था ना हम्म अब यहाँ पे देखो कितना हो जाएगा L equal to क्या होगा uh, L equal to होगा v by f so f will be equal to v by L then and this is called your second harmonic. then there is one more term that will come into account that is overtone. so what is overtone? overtone is any frequency above fundamental frequency then so this will be termed as this is first frequency above fundamental frequency so this will be called first overtone okay so overtone is any frequency above fundamental frequency. first overtone meaning uh, second harmonic then so yahan pe ye hua ab iske liye hum general formula kya kar sakte hain for uh, first harmonic we got frequency as v by 2l for second we got v by l general formula will be n v by 2 where n value will vary from 1 2 3 4 so for fundamental frequency n equal to 1 v by 2 l aaya tha for uh, second harmonic n equal to 2 v by l we got and for third harmonic similarly first overtone means n equal to 2 aap put karoge theek hai so these are the thing now this is the open organ pipe open organ pipe ka matlab kya hota hai jaise tumhare paas suppose kar lo ek pipe hai Uh, in the diagram you can see there is a pipe and it is open at both ends so if wave is going to get generated here what should be the case if things are open i said na if a string is fixed then fixed point means it can't move it can't move its atom can't move it is fixed so here only node will get formed and here this is free end here whatever uh, air particles are there it can move right so if ends are free to move or open you can say in that case here anti node will get generated so the first kind of wave that can get generated here will look something like this theek hai kyunki yahan pe maximum displacement hoga because this is the open area here displacement is highly possible then so this is the first wave that can be generated first standing wave that can be generated here so ab aap yahan pe dekh lo uh, what's what's the distance if this is Length of pipe is L. Then L can be written in the term of uh, wavelength. How? 
जैसे देखो यहाँ पे दिस लेंथ दिस लेंथ इज लैमडा बाई फोर सो दिस लेंथ विल बी लैमडा बाई फोर एंड दिस लेंथ विल बी लैमडा बाई फोर अगेन एल विल बी इक्वल टू लैमडा बाई टू सेम एज स्ट्रिंग इट इज कमिंग राइट एल इक्वल टू लैमडा बाई टू सॉरी लैमडा कैन बी रिटर्न एज वॉट वी बाई एफ टू सो फ्रीक्वेंसी कैन बी रिटर्न एज वी बाई ट्वेल्व सो फर्स्ट फ्रीक्वेंसी और फंडामेंटल फ्रीक्वेंसी दैट वी आर गोइंग टू गेट इन ओपन ऑर्गन पाई इज वी बाई ट्वेल्व डन Similarly, uh, जैसे यहाँ पे बी बाई टूल आएगा सिमिलरली वी कैन गो फॉर अनादर मोड ऑल्सो लाइक इफ दिस इज द ओपन ऑर्गन पाई अनादर मोड कैन बी समथिंग मेरी डायग्राम बहुत खराब होता है प्लीज फॉर गिव मी फॉर दैट अनादर क्या हो सकता है अगर मैं ड्रॉ कर पाऊ तो जरूर करूंगी डन समथिंग लाइक दिस अगेन ये टाइम करेगा ऊपर मेरा डायग्राम थोड़ा बेकार है बट वी कैन हियर लुक एट की यहाँ पे जो लेंथ एल होगा लेंथ एल ऑफ द लेंथ ऑफ द ट्यूब दैट इज एल नाउ सो नाउ एल विल बी इक्वल टू हाउ मच इफ दिस इज दिस विल बिकम इक्वल टू लैमडा बाई टू एंड दिस इज लैमडा बाई फोर दिस इज लैमडा बाई फोर डन सो न्यू लेंथ कैन बी रिटर्न एज सम अनदर वेव लेंथ लैमडा बाई टू प्लस लैमडा बाई टू दैट इज लैमडा So यहाँ पे L will be equal to v by f and f will be equal to v by L. This will be your second harmony, or you can say first overtone. So in case of open organ pipe, also the general formula for the frequency will be how much? It will be n v by twelve, same as that of um uh, that of a standing wave getting created on a string fixed at both ends. Then same formula we are getting. So these are the things, right? Now what if the organ pipe is closed? Closed means closed organ pipe का मतलब होता है कि one end is closed and another end is open, ठीक है? So this is this. Now the end that is closed at that point we will get what node. So यहाँ पे मुझे node मिलेगा and the one that is open we will get their antenna. So first kind of a standing wave getting generated will look something like this. So here L can be termed as lambda by four. Again L equal to v by f Into four, so frequency will be v by four l. This is your fundamental frequency, or you can say this is your what first harmony v by four l. Then this is closed organ pipe. Closed organ pipe doesn't mean both ends will be closed. Only one end will be closed. Okay, so this is closed organ pipe. Now, second case, क्या हो सकता है? Second kind of wave that can be generated will look something like this. So now l will be equal to this is again lambda by two. And this is what lambda by four. So total length will be equal to three lambda by four. Again, lambda by lambda can be written as v by f. So f will look like how much? Uh, f will look like three v by four l. And that is my second harmony. Or you can say first over two. Okay, first over. यहाँ पे general formula क्या होगा? General formula for the frequency will be two n plus one. V by four l n will vary from zero one to like that. So for fundamental frequency, n value will be zero. So if you are going to put n equal to zero, fundamental frequency will be equal to V by four l, the one we got just a minute ago. Now for second harmony, n value we you will be putting as one, and, and then we will get three V by four l. So so on for first over to n equal to one, रखेंगे second over to n equal to two. Five v by four l. So you just notice here one thing: we are only getting odd harmonics, even harmonics we are not getting. It means we first frequency we got as v by four l, second frequency we got as three v by four l, third frequency we got as five v by four l. So one, three, five. Only odd harmonics we are getting here in case of closed organ pipe. And in case of open organ pipe, and in case of a string, we were getting all kinds of harmonics. Just say, वहाँ पे general formula क्या था हमारा n v by twelve. So n can take uh, like first frequency v by twelve, second two into v by twelve, third three v by twelve, fourth four v by twelve. So all even and odd harmonics it is taking. But here only odd harmonics, right? So this is all the formula that you need to remember in your head regarding organ pipes and uh, string closed at. Uh, fixed at both ends. Okay, clear as up to.
there may be one more thing you require and that is your end corrections if if in the question i didn't encounter any question of that sort but still i'm giving you the information ki if end correction is given in your question it means suppose diya hua hai ki end correction is some 2 mm it means what you have to do it means length of the tube is l but it will act like ki its length is equal to l plus 2 ठीक है इन केस ऑफ ओपन सॉरी क्लोज ऑर्गन पाइप और अगर ऑर्गन पाइप ओपन है तो एंड करेक्शन दोनों तरफ ऐड होगा इधर भी टू मिलीमीटर और इधर भी तो न्यू लेंथ ऑफ ट्यूब विल बी हाउ मच एल प्लस टू इंटू टू इन केस ऑफ क्लोज ऑर्गन पाइप एंड करेक्शन विल गेट एडेड ओनली ऑन वन साइड ओपन साइड ठीक है तो दैट इज योर एंड करेक्शन इफ यू विल एनकाउंटर यू कैन रिमेम्बर दैट अब देखो डॉपलर इफेक्ट में आई विल ओनली टॉक द इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट point that will help you in solving the question sabse pehli cheez hai uh, which we very often forget forget is formula theek hai so how to remember the formula formula remember karne ka simple sa tarika hai this to remember this one formula f equal to f not v plus minus v not v not is velocity of observer and v minus plus v s uh, where v s is what velocity of source now the question is when to take the plus sign when to take the minus sign then so first we will talk about the observer if observer is moving towards the source theek okay? hai suppose kar lo ki observer is moving towards the source that direction is taken as positive agar question mein aapko bol raha hai ki uh, suppose kar lo ki there is an observer there is an observer here and there is a car here it is honking its horn and what is happening uh, some sound of frequency f it is generating f not and it is reaching this person so if this person is in rest it will receive f not frequency of sound but if this person is moving towards it that is velocity of observer is towards the source what will be the frequency received by this person again if observer is moving towards the source we have to consider that direction as positive so we will write ki jo mera apparent frequency hoga wo ho jayega f not v plus v not and since maine likha hai source is in rest to main yahan pe likhungi v only kyunki vs ko maine kya maan liya zero chalo plus ho gaya now i am telling ki suppose kar lo car is also moving towards the person and person is also moving towards the car now observer is moving towards the source that direction we will be taking positive then and what is happening source is moving towards the observer if source moves towards the observer that direction is taken as negative yaad kaise rakhna hai yaad rakhne ka simple tarika hai bas ek cheez yaad rakho ki when observer moves towards so direction is positive agar opposite hoga to direction kya lo le loge negative theek hai so yahan pe opposite ho raha hai source is moving towards the observer i will write here b minus b so remember just one thing now if this person is moving away from the source that this person is moving in this direction with velocity v not what will be the frequency frequency kaise likhoge aap f not observer is moving away from the source so not towards away move kar raha hai direction kya hoga minus hoga and suppose kar lo car bhi away ja rahi then if observer is moving away from the source direction is negative if source will move away from the observer direction will taken as ठीक है तो जस्ट रिमेम्बर वन थिंग फाइनलाइज कर रही हूं मैं कि वेन ऑब्जर्वर मूव टूवर्ड्स द सोर्स डिरेक्शन इज पॉजिटिव वेन ऑब्जर्वर मूव अवे फ्रॉम द सोर्स डिरेक्शन इज टेकन एज नेगेटिव डन एंड इफ दिस विल बिकम ऑपोजिट फॉर द मोशन ऑफ सोर्स दैट इज इफ सोर्स इज मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द ऑब्जर्वर नेगेटिव इफ सोर्स इज मूविंग अवे फ्रॉम द ऑब्जर्वर पॉजिटिव ठीक है जस्ट रिमेम्बर वन थिंग दिस एंड सेकेंड के लिए वो ऑपोजिट हो जाएगा ठीक है, सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला नाउ वट एल्स वी नीड टू रिमेम्बर इन डॉपलर इफेक्ट सो डॉपलर इफेक्ट में आप जो भी पढ़ रहे हो ना जैसे सपोज कर लो कि यहाँ पे एक पर्सन एक कार है ठीक है एक कार है ऐसा एंड एंड दिस एंड देर इज अ पर्सन हेयर देर इज अ पर्सन हेयर स्टैंडिंग डन so this car is moving in this direction then with velocity v with velocity v then now this person is in rest 
and it is releasing sound of frequency f not question is what frequency of sound this person will listen how you will calculate now they are not on the same line now this person is standing here and car is here on the ground and this is on vertical line so jo humne formula padha na v plus minus v not by v minus plus v is f not apparent frequency ka formula ye padha what is v observer v observer is velocity of observer along velo along source theek hai v not is what velocity of observer along source v s is what velocity of source along observer to yahan pe dekho observer ko to maine rest pe kar diya what will be the velocity of car along observer to aap sabse pehla kaam jo karoge na wo ye karoge ki just try making a line combining observer and car to so observer and car ko car ko join karne wala line ye hai. now what will be the velocity of car along this line suppose kar lo this angle is theta so it will be v cos theta so here v is will be taken as not v but it will be taken as v cos theta done so what is v not velocity of observer along the source what is v is velocity of source along observer how you will calculate that you will simply combine observer and source and along that line you will be taking the velocity component इसीलिए कहा जाता है कि अगर मेरा कार यहाँ है और सपोज कर लो पर्सन इज हेयर ऑन दिस लाइन मतलब एट अ पॉइंट दिस कार विल मूव 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 व्हेन कार विल कम हेयर व्हाट फ्रीक्वेंसी दिस पर्सन विल रिसीव सेम एज ओरिजिनल फ्रीक्वेंसी क्यों क्योंकि एट दिस पॉइंट कार विल हैव नो वेलोसिटी कंपोनेंट अलोंग द ऑब्जर्वर क्योंकि बी कॉस्ट नाइनटी जीरो हो जाएगा यानी कि वी नॉट तो जीरो था ही क्योंकि ऑब्जर्वर इज इन रेस्ट वी एस पी जीरो हो रहा है यहाँ पे सो फ्रीक्वेंसी विल बी इक्वल टू ओरिजिनल फ्रीक्वेंसी डन सो दिस आर थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर इन योर हेड वाई सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन तो चलो अब हम लोग क्वेश्चन करने के लिए रेडी है वी नो ऑल द रिक्वायर्ड इंफॉर्मेशन ठीक है तो टेक वन मिनट ऑफ ब्रेक कुछ पूछना है तो पूछ लो उसके बाद वी विल डू क्वेश्चन ठीक है If you wanna ask something, you can. चलो ठीक है. Beat. Okay, okay. Beat. आप लोगों को नहीं पता? देखो नाम पता है तो जरूर पता होगा. Beat क्या होता है हमारा? Beat is nothing but difference between two frequencies. अगर suppose you are the person and you are hearing two sounds. So one sound is frequency f1, another sound is frequency f2. How many number of beat you are listening? so beat will be simply difference of the frequency that is your right aur kuch hai to yaad dilao which is important yes beat is important ye formula hume pata hona chahiye if you are listening two sounds then how many beats you are listening just the difference of their frequency theek hai aur kuch hai everyone good fine exam date is coming closer and closer lekin pareshan nahi hu main we should also be growing in terms of our what confidence chalo theek hai tum logo ko rest nahi chahiye i guess question kare should we start with question now चलो फॉर थर्टी सेकेंड्स क्लोज योर आईज जस्ट रिलैक्स इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्योंकि कैलकुलेशन काफी होंगे ना थोड़ा सा एनर्जाइज होना जरूरी है टेक सम वॉटर चलो ठीक है सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द क्वेश्चन एंड हियर इज द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इजी अगेन यू जस्ट नीड टू रिमेम्बर द फॉर्मुला आई एम गिविंग यू सम थ्री पॉइंट फाइव मिनट अगेन 
read the question carefully and please do it ha huh? 3.5 minute we take chalo theek hai karo in case of any doubt you can let me know i'm here only everyone remember formula of standing wave y equal to kya aaya tha 2a where a was the amplitude so there was a constant here and this is into sin kx cos omega t something like that we got no yes जस्ट रीड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली ठीक है यहाँ पे देखो क्या लिखा हुआ है अगर राइटिंग पे ध्यान दो तो वन इंड ऑफ ए टॉट स्ट्रीम इन टाइट स्ट्रीम ऑफ लेंथ थ्री मीटर अलॉन्ग द एक्स एक्सिस इज फिक्स्ड एट एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो सो अगर स्ट्रीम को ऐसे रखो एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो पे वो क्या है फिक्स है The speed of wave in the string is given. Other end of a string is vibrating. Other end open है ठीक है Remember this. This is not fixed. ठीक है So that's important. करो Done. So here, uh, which formula you will be using? One end is fixed, another end is open. Which formula will come into action? Which case is it actually? So just like a, a 
closed organ pipe now in closed organ pipe what used to be there one end was closed means at one end there won't be any yes yes closed pipe then then things are okay now so ab aap nikal simply you know the standing wave equation now standing waves are getting generated now standing wave are getting set up so standing wave ka equation kya hota hai 2a sin k x cos omega t then so you need to simply find value of k in terms of integers and value of omega you need to put it there let me do once here what the question is given length of a string is how much 3 meter so this is 3 meter this 3 meter in terms of wavelength will be how much that we need to see right क्योंकि k का वैल्यू वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट k वैल्यू यूज्ड टू बी हाउ मच इक्वल टू 2 पाई बाय लैम्डा ओमेगा वी कैन कैलकुलेट फ्रॉम द वेलोसिटी वेलोसिटी आई हैव गिवन यू वेलोसिटी ऑफ वेव यूज्ड टू बी ओमेगा बाय k है ना सो ओमेगा कैन बी रिटर्न एज k v सो इफ यू आर एबल टू फाइंड k वी कैन आल्सो फाइंड आउट ओमेगा देन हाउ टू फाइंड k इफ वी नो वेवलेंथ एंड वेवलेंथ वी कैन नो फ्रॉम द गिवन इक्वेशन इट इज गिवन दैट लेंथ Of a string is three meter, so these three meter can be equal to different different uh, values of wavelength. How? Just say if we talk about the fundamental frequency, then this length L was equal to how much lambda by four. And if we talk about the second harmonic, it was equal to. यहाँ पे क्या था? एक और ऐसे wave बना था and then it was something like this. So this was lambda by two and lambda by four. Three lambda by four. Done. So here length will be equal to two. In plus one lambda by uh, four done. So for n equal to zero, l will be equal to lambda by four. For n equal to one, it will be equal to three lambda by four. Again, for different values of n, we will be getting different values of lambda. Done. Let's see what is the value for lambda. So यहाँ पे lambda को मैं क्या लिख सकती हूँ? Four l by two n plus one done. Lambda is Over now, let's calculate the k value then. So, what will be the value of k? K is how much? Two pi by lambda. So, two pi divided by four l, two n plus one. It will become how much? Two two l ka value kitna hai? Three. So, three into two will become six. So, this is pi by six, two n plus one. So, we have got value for k. Done. So, this this is here. Now, let's calculate the value of omega. So omega will be equal to k into v. K is how much? Pi by six, two n plus one. V will be how much? Velocity is given now hundred. So this is this. Now let's see that which equation is fitting into it. अगर मैं n का value zero रखूँ, तो k का value pi by six होगा. कहाँ k का value pi by six दिख रहा है? यहाँ दिख रहा है. Done. Now let's see that omega भी correct है या नहीं है. Uh, once कल ही बताया ना मैंने velocity Of wave, wave का इक्वेशन कल मैंने क्या लिखा था इफ यू रिमेम्बर इट वॉज समथिंग लाइक एक्स माइनस बी टी के फंक्शन में था ना डन एक्स माइनस बी टी के फंक्शन में था ना चलो ये भी नहीं पता तो चलो इसको इससे तो तुम्हें फॉर्मूला नहीं मिल पाएगा बट हमने जो जनरल इक्वेशन ऑफ वेव लिखा था वो क्या लिखा था वाई इज इक्वल टू ए साइन के एक्स माइनस ओमेगा ये फॉर्मूला एक्चुअली कहा से आ रहा है व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन वेव ट्रेवल्स अहेड ओवरऑल एक्स विल चेंज टी विल चेंज सच दैट के एक्स माइनस ओमेगा टी विल रिमेन कांस्टेंट दिस इज कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ एनी ट्रैवलिंग वेव दिस फेज विल रिमेन कांस्टेंट ओवर टाइम एक्स विल चेंज टी विल चेंज बट ओवरऑल इट विल रिमेन कांस्टेंट सो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू राइट इट कि के एक्स माइनस ओमेगा टी इज कांस्टेंट लेट्स डिफरेंशिएट इट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम सो यहां पे के dx by dt माइनस ओमेगा डी टी बाई डी टी विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो यहाँ पे वेलोसिटी किसके बराबर आ रहा है ओमेगा बाई के वेलोसिटी ऑफ वेव इज इक्वल टू ओमेगा बाई के दैट्स द फॉर्मूला ट्रेवलिंग वेव का आई आई डेंट डिराइव इट यस्टरडे बट आई सेड यू की वेलॉसिटी ऑफ वेव विल बी दिस सो फ्रॉम देयर वी गॉट अब देखो अगर हमने एन का वैल्यू जीरो रखा दिस इज फाइव बाई सिक्स सो फाइव बाई सिक्स इंटू हंड्रेड कितना होगा दिस विल बिकम फिफ्टी फाइव बाई टी ना सो फर्स्ट सीम्स लाइक करें फर्स्ट हमें क्या दिख रहा है फिफ्टी द पॉसिबल वेव फॉर्म्स ऑफ दिज स्टेशनरी वेव इज आर क्या क्या होगा पहला तो दिख रहा है फर्स्ट वन करेक्ट दिख रहा है सेकेंड का वैल्यू ले लो टू एन 
का वैल्यू वन ले लो आप सो टू इंटू वन वन ये थ्री हो गया सो फाइव बाई सिक्स इंटू थ्री दैट विल बिकम फाइव बाई टू फाइव बाई टू कहीं दिख रहा है नहीं तो चलो एन इक्वल टू टू फिट नहीं जा रहा इक्वेशन मतलब जो भी इक्वेशन दिया हुआ है दैट इट्स नॉट देयर नाउ लेट्स पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एन इक्वल टू थ्री सॉरी टू सो एन इक्वल टू टू देन इट विल बिकम फाइव 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 बाई सिक्स फाइव फाइव बाई सिक्स इज हेयर लेट्स पुट इन द ओमेगा ऑल्सो सो दिस इज फाइव फाइव बाई सिक्स फाइव फाइव बाई सिक्स इंटू हंड्रेड हाउ मच इट विल बिकम फाइव फाइव बाई सिक्स इंटू हंड्रेड सो दिस विल फिफ्टी एंड दिस विल बिकम थ्री सो दिस इज हाउ मच टू फिफ्टी फाइव टी बाई थ्री सो दिस ऑल्सो सिम्स करेक्ट दिस ऑल्सो सिम्स करेक्ट नाउ वट द वट द एल्स इज एन का वैल्यू आप मैंने टू तक लिया थ्री ले लो सो थ्री इंटू टू विल बिकम हाउ मच सिक्स सिक्स प्लस वन सेवन ऐसा कुछ है नहीं आगे की भी वैल्यूज नहीं ली गई है सो करेक्ट आंसर शुड बी वॉट इट शुड बी ए एंड सी करेक्ट आंसर हमारा क्या होना चाहिए ए एंड सी ठीक है एनी डाउट एनी वन किसी को कोई डाउट है करेक्ट आंसर विल बी विच वन यहां पे मार्क कर लो ए होगा और सी होगा अंडरस्टूड चलो ठीक ठीक है सो so, यहाँ पे मैंने आंसर को गलत लिखा है चलिए इट विल बी ए एम सी आई रीच एरीज एन का क्या करें विच एन यहाँ पे वैल्यूज दिया ना जैसे हमने एन के टाउन में के को निकाल लिया ना एन के टाउन में भी कैलकुलेटेड होमेगा ना क्वेश्चन में क्या कहा गया है जस्ट चेक की विच ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन विल बी ट्रू डन सो एन वेरी फ्रॉम वेयर टू वेयर जस्ट नाउ आई हैव डिस्कस्ड फॉर फॉर क्लोज्ड ऑर्गन पाइप इन वेरीज फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी सो एन का वैल्यू जीरो होगा वन होगा टू होगा थ्री होगा सो ऑन so in that question what i did i simply calculated k na in terms of n omega in terms of n now n ka values of put karte jao aur check karo ki kaun sa equation correct hai simple once okay chalo let's do the next question so this is this is your next question again i am giving you some 4.5 minute here ठीक है जस्ट टू थिंक ओवर इट मोर अगेन कैलकुलेशन आर नॉट लेंदी डू इट केयरफुली टेक फोर पॉइंट फाइव मिनट ऑफ योर टाइम एंड डू इट चलो
you all remember velocity formula, right? Velocity of transverse wave on a string is equal to how much? Tension by mu, where mu is mass per unit length of the string, right? I have discussed how wavelength changes, you know, when velocity changes or when it moves from rarer to tension medium. Everything I've discussed, just uh, you need to look at things carefully. Yes, once uh, one more option is correct actually. Ekbar or deko. Yes, correct. Very good. Yes, Amrutha. It's tha, I guess. Um, tha, yes. What's your answer? You got it? Okay, not it. No worries. Okay, one more minute. I'm giving. Okay, done. So what the question is there? Question is a block capital M hangs vertically at the bottom end of a uniform row of constant mass per unit length. Done. Mass per unit length is constant, means it is a uniform wire. The top end of rope is attached to fixed rigid support O. And a transverse weight pulse, just go one bowl, right? Of wavelength lambda naught is produced, is produced at O done and uh, it is traveling till a and how much time it is taking it is taking time t o a to reach the point a similar thing is happening at the bottom end here a pulse two is getting generated you know again of the same wavelength lambda naught without disturbing the position of n it takes time t a o to reach point o how much time it is taking t a o now we have to see if this time TAO and TOA will be equal or not. First thing is that. So it will be equal if its velocity profile remains same for both the waves throughout. What, what do I mean by this? Just say, you can see what is happening. This is not a massless rod. You know? This is not a massless rod. Rod, what is happening? This is a mass containing rod. So let's uh, let's let, let's focus on the pulse too. Suppose I am focusing on. So this is started traveling from uh, point A towards O. I'm just trying to see key, what velocity, what time it will take to cover this small length DL. Suppose 
so for uh, this timing how i will calculate this timing this timing will be equal to velocity at this point velocity at this point divide sorry distance to dl hai divided by velocity at this point now what will be the velocity at this point so what for calculating velocity we must know tension at this point what will be the tension at this point? suppose kar lo this length is small length section is dl and its position from bottom is l means this le length of this string portion is how much l then so how much tension will be there at this point suppose let's call it this point as p p pe tension kya hoga if we know the tension we can calculate the mu is constant theek hai so what will be the tension tension will depend on ki from point p how much mass is hanging downward kitna mass hang kar raha hai this m is hanging and also this l length of a string has some mass so this mass is also hanging how much tension it will have tension will be equal to weight of this total mass so that is m plus mu l g theek hai again we don't need to calculate this much but again just to make you understand i'm doing this so t equal to m plus mu l into g then ab aap kya likhoge yahan pe dl uh, by v v ka value main kya likhungi yahan pe uh, v ka value will be root under t by mu that is m plus mu l g this uh, by mu na so root under mu so this is time time taken for calculating this dl length for crossing this dl length similarly agar question mein ye pucha hota ki how much time it is taking from uh, from moving uh, moving on from a to o so that time we can calculate from here this is the small time taken to cross dl to cross the whole length for that we will integrate this okay so we will doing doing the integration but here we have to simply compare we have to say that ki ta o or to a equal hoga ya nahi hoga so for that we don't need to do the calculation what we need to see is ki jaise aap dhyan se dekho if oh sorry uh, what i was doing once i did na ki जैसे अगर मैंने ये बताया कि सपोज कर लो क्वेश्चन में ये होता आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू वाइड डाइवर्सिटी ऑफ क्वेश्चन क्योंकि यहाँ पे तो सिंपल कंपैरिजन पूछा है लेकिन अगर क्वेश्चन ये पूछा होता कि एम से ओ तक जाने में टाइम एक्चुअली कितना लगेगा फॉर द पल्स टू और पल्स वन डन सो इफ आई कंसिडर पल्स टू हाउ मच टाइम इट विल टेक in going from a to o how we will calculate that its velocity won't be constant throughout then why its velocity won't be constant here if if we take this point at this point tension in the string will be mg at this point tension in the string will be mass of this whole portion at this point tension will be mass of this whole portion so as we are going up what is happening tension is increasing so if tension is increasing velocity is how much t by mu so velocity will also increase then so at different for different section for different small sections velocity is different then and if we have to calculate total time taken how we will do that we will first calculate ki how much time it is taking to cross any small segment dl situated at length l from the a that thing i did there ठीक है, so, uh, for any section DL, आप कैसे निकालोगे जैसे यहाँ पे मैंने मैं ये निकालने की कोशिश कर रही हूँ कि जो पल्स ए से स्टार्ट हुआ हाउ मच इन हाउ मच टाइम इट विल क्रॉस दिस डीएल लेंथ ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग सो फॉर दैट वी विल सी कि हाउ मच वेलोसिटी इज देयर एट दिस पॉइंट हाउ वी विल कैलकुलेट द फिलोसफी फॉर दैट वी विल रिक्वायर टेंशन तो मैंने कोशिश किया कि इस पॉइंट पे टेंशन निकाल ले what will be the tension here whatever mass is hanging down from that point if this is the l length of a string mass of a this a string is how much mu l again more mass is hanging n so total mass hanging from point p if i say is how much mu l plus n so tension at point p will be how much will be equal to the weight of this mass so that is this what will be the velocity at this point so velocity will be t by mu 
that is mu l plus m g by m so uh, this is my what sorry by mu so this is the velocity at this pl at point p so how much time it will take to cross the dl or to cross the p point how much time it will take suppose dt time it is taking so that will be equal to distance by velocity small distance we have taken kyunki velocity is changing everywhere so dl by how much velocity you will write how much we have got the value of velocity mu l plus mg by mu so this is if we have if we have to calculate total time we will simply integrate l will vary from at a l length is zero and at this o l length is capital l so zero to l it will vary sorry zero to l so i was trying to calculate the total time now this is not in our question we have to simply compare ki which pulse will take more time or if they will take the same time so if you look at the, the things carefully what you can see here if if pulse is going from if pulse is going from a to o if i am talking about the second pulse velocity is gradually increasing theek hai so initially it will take more time to cross and as it will near o o, o what will happen as it is reaching closer to o its velocity will increase and it will take lesser time then what will happen with the pulse one pulse one ke sath kya hoga at this point initially its velocity will be more because it is at o initially tension is more there so initially its velocity will be less but as it will come down its velocity will decrease but of course both the pulses average velocity along the string will be same same or not agree or not it will be same or not kyunki from a to o it will increase in the same fashion in the same pattern as it will decrease from o to a done so time taken by both pulse should be what equal clear or not it should be equal done and so uh, agar doubt ho to mujhse pooch lena so this time will be equal now uh, the, the wavelength of pulse one becomes longer when it reaches point a wavelength of pulse one pulse one ke sath kya ho raha hai its velocity is for pulse one agar main baat karu to pulse one ke liye velocity is gradually decreasing decreasing and if velocity is decreasing what will happen what will happen with the wavelength yes what will happen with the wavelength if velocity is decreasing i have discussed yesterday also so uh, v by lambda kya hota hai frequency frequency doesn't change right so uh, uh, what will happen here jaise yahan pe kya ho raha hai ki uh, gradually as it is moving towards uh, uh, the string the wavelength of pulse one become longer when it when it reaches point one will it be correct or not anyone how we will explain that pulse one ke sath ho kya kar raha hai velocity is what decreasing gradually hai na velocity is gradually decreasing what will happen to the wavelength jaldi se batao what will happen and why देखो यहाँ पे एक्चुअली मीडिया वाला केस नहीं यूज कर सकते बिकॉज इट्स इट्स नॉट लाइक इट इज मूविंग फ्रॉम रेयर टू डेंस इट मीडियम का डेंसिटी सेम टू आउट क्योंकि यहाँ पे न्यू कांस्टेंट रहा है ना सो वी कांट यूज दैट बट अगेन व्हाट वी विल बी यूजिंग हेयर एज इट इज कमिंग डाउन वेलॉसिटी इज डिक्रीजिंग इट मीन्स की इनिशियली इफ इट वॉज कवरिंग डी एन लेंथ इन टी वन टाइम डन Uh, just see carefully initially velocity is decreasing now uh, so what will happen if we consider same uh, same time interval suppose ya fir same length aap kuch bhi le lo uh, suppose kar lo main yahan pe kaam karti hu yahan pe dt dt time interval isko count karti hu aur yahan pe dt time interval count karti hu so what will happen in this dt time initially it will cover more distance done kyunki initially its velocity is what higher and 
in this dt time as it will come down this wave it will cover what it will cover less distance done so it is covering less distance means what he initially to cover distance equal to one wavelength it will be taking what lesser time and finally as it will come down to cover one unit of wavelength it will take more time samajh rahe ho it will take more time or not yes then it means what is happening to the wavelength suppose kar lo is dt time mein usne ek wavelength ka distance cover kiya aur is dt time mein bhi usne ek wavelength ka distance cover kiya what will be the relation of these two wavelengths will they be equal no will uh, lambda 2 will be what timing is same na i have kept just to make the understanding clear i have kept the timing constant so here in this timing velocity is less here no so in this timing it will cover what less distance so wavelength must be less here and here this distance must be la larger so the wavelength of pulse one becomes longer when it reaches point a no it will become what shorter kyunki initially na it is moving very fast so its wave 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 is something like this and gradually it is going uh, sorry i'm not like this it will look again i'm drawing it in opposite way theek hai are you getting my point yahan pe kafi zyada logical samajhne ki zarurat hai anyone having any doubt got me velocity decrease hua na so for the same distance it will now take uh, same distance it will now take more time or you can say for same time it will now cover less distance less distance it means its wavelength has decreased that's the thing now if you see the see third case the velocity of any pulse along the rope is independent of its frequency frequency and wavelength yes kyunki velocity ka formula is t by mu it is not depending on frequency and wavelength the velocity of two pulses are same at the midpoint of rope yes at the midpoint velocity will be same q kyunki if you consider the midpoint yahan pe tension kya hoga ek fixed value ka hoga and if tension is fixed then velocity will be what fixed so that is this if you are not getting the second point you can just think carefully over that you can take them theek okay? hai so the correct answer will be which which a c and d yes chalo pehle is question pe socho i can make that b point more simpler let me also think so chalo do this question now i am giving you some 3 minute not more than that you will require chalo aaram se karo question samajhne mein any problem ho let me know i am not not explaining question before hand because in the exam hall you need to interpret it only hai na to khud se karo
Let me know one thing. Have you done questions earlier from Doppler effect? Accordingly, I will give you time for this question actually. Uh, otherwise, I will explain now. Okay. Make it clear. Okay, let me explain this question, but listen to it very carefully. Because if you are listening to this question, ko sahi se sun lete ho, you will be able to do the questions ahead also. And then it's not difficult. Before that, I will explain the question ko ek bar aur sahi se explain kar do. Yahan pe dekho, actually, what I missed here is, I have given the explanation correct, hai, but that is more lengthy. Na, mein dikkat ho tha. So let me uh, say one thing here. Frequency of wave changes when that thing should be fixed in our head. Just say, here the pulse one is getting generated. It must be getting generated by source, some source of uh, sound or uh, light, something. Agar if it is a light wave, since this is a sound wave, so here there will be source hoga generate karne wala pulse one ko, and similarly for pulse two also. So frequency gets solely uh, like determined by the source. Done. So. Frequency is getting determined by source, this generated wave and its frequency is getting guided by source. So frequency won't depend on ki what is happening to the velocity profile of a, a wave ahead. Because velocity is dependent on the media, but frequency is dependent on what? Source only. So if source is not changing the frequency, it's not going to change because of any other factor. So again, yes. We can also use that thing ki, uh, velocity by lambda, that is frequency. Ye yahan pe frequency kya rahega hamara constant rahega. Hai? So as it is coming down, velocity is decreasing. So wavelength will also decrease. Done? Is statement B kya tha? incorrect. Hai? Chalo. Now let's focus on this question. So there is a stationary source and this is emitting sound at a fixed frequency, right? At fixed frequency F0, which is reflected by two cars approaching the source. Now they go, let's draw the diagram carefully. There is a source and that is a stationary. So this, its velocity is zero. And it is emitting sound of which frequency F0. Now it is getting reflected by two cars approaching the source. Let's draw two cars. Ye isko lete car one. और इसको मान लेते हैं कार टू दोनों ही कार साउंड सोर्स को क्या कर रहा है अप्रोच कर रहा है इट्स मूविंग टुवर्ड्स द सोर्स नाउ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन फ्रीक्वेंसीज ऑफ साउंड रिफ्लेक्टेड फ्रॉम द कार इज 1.2% ऑफ एफ नॉट देन व्हाट विल हैपन दिस साउंड विल वेव विल रीच फर्स्ट कार देन एंड दैट साउंड विल विल गेट रिफ्लेक्टेड बाय फर्स्ट कार also, this sound wave will be incident on second car and it will get reflected by second car. Now, we have two reflected sound waves, one from the car one and another from car two. Now, this reflected sound wave will have some frequency, let's say F1. This reflected sound wave will have frequency, let's say F2. What it is saying is difference between frequencies of sound reflected from the car. That is F1 minus F2 is how much? 1.2% of F0. This is equal to 1.2% of F0. Question here. So what we need to calculate? We need to calculate F1 and F2. How to calculate F1 and F2? So let's first calculate F1. Uspe focus karte hai. So this was my source. Done. Wave traveled like this. It reached the car. Hai? So car received some... Uh, a sound that is incident sound. So let's first see ki what is the frequency of incident sound wave getting received by car. Done. Because here the sound wave is coming out, its frequency is F0. Same frequency car won't receive. Why? Because car is moving towards the source. So what frequency of light, uh, sorry, frequency of sound will it receive? So let's go out of it. Means apparent frequency we have to calculate. If apparent will be how much? Kya hoga batao? What will be the formula? F naught into. Here source is not moving. Observer is moving. Observer is moving towards the source. So observer ki velocity sabse pehle to numerator me likhte hain. To yahan pe likhenge. Uh, this is V. This V is velocity of sound. Plus karenge ya minus. Observer is moving towards the source. So this is plus. V naught, yani ki V car divided by V, source to move nahi kar ra. So V 
एस प्लस माइनस प्लस वी एस वाला केस आएगा नहीं सो दिस इज द इंसिडेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी और फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ इंसिडेंट साउंड वेव फॉर द कार डन अब क्या है अब ध्यान से यहाँ पे देखो बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है कि कार ने कुछ तो लाइट इंसिडेंट रिसीव की सॉरी वेव साउंड वेव इंसिडेंट साउंड वेव रिसीव किया नाउ व्हाट इट विल डू इट विल रिफ्लेक्ट दिस साउंड वेव डन अगेन ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोसेस दिस इज मूविंग कार इज मूविंग कार इज नॉट इन रेस्ट इट रिसीव साउंड वेव एंड वेन इट इज रिफ्लेक्टिंग इट सीम्स लाइक ना कि दिस कार इज जनरेटिंग वेव ऐसा लग रहा है ना क्योंकि पहले तो उसने रिसीव किया सोर्स था हमारा ये अब जब वो रिफ्लेक्ट कर रहा है तो ऐसा लग रहा है जैसे दिस कार इट सेल्फ इज एमिटिंग समाउंड राइट सो नाउ इट बिकेम सोर्स अब ये क्या हो गया सोर्स हो गया एंड दिस सोर्स इज वॉट दिस सोर्स इज मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द टूवर्ड्स दिस पर्सन सिटिंग हेयर so now it became observer क्योंकि यही receive कर रहा है ना reflected light reflected sound wave को so now this car became the source and this person became the observer now what will be the frequency of reflected wave so for that we will see कि uh, frequency of incident wave कितना था f था so not same if frequency of sound wave it will reflect if Different it will reflect what how much difference it will be. So we are going to calculate now apparent frequency for f done. So f one let me call it because I have reflected sound wave's frequency. So here f one is called. So now f one will be what will be f into. This is source now acting as a source now. So and this is acting as your observer. This this is in uh, uh this is in rest now. Huh? This is in rest. So uh, observer is in rest now. So V upper likho up. Or niche up kya likhne wale ho? Velocity of sound. Here source is moving towards the observer. It is happening now. So yaha pe plus sign nahi, minus sign hoga. Pe kis se opposite lete hai. So velocity of source. Again velocity of car hi hoga ye. Then so this much. F1 value kya hoga? Ab main F1 ko aggregate way mein likhti hoon. So what is the value of f1? Value of f1 is f into f. The value kya tha? F not v plus v c by v into kya karoge? V by v minus v c. Kuch aisa hua na? F1 is this. Now here the velocities of car are different. So for first f1 we will be writing the velocity of first car, and for f2 we will be writing the velocity of second car. Lekin formula the same aega dono case mein. है ना तो अब चलो लिखते हैं सिंपल सी चीज f1 को क्या लिखना है हमें f नॉट f नॉट v प्लस वी वन बाई वी इंटू क्या करूं v डिवाइडेड बाई वी माइनस वी वन अब ये v भी कैंसिल हुआ f2 क्या होगा f नॉट v प्लस वी टू बाई वी सेकेंड के लिए निकाल रहे ठीक है v बाई वी माइनस वी टू v v कैंसिल हुआ वी हैव टू राइट एफ वन माइनस एफ टू देख लो दोनों में से जो बड़ा है उसके अकॉर्डिंग माइनस करोगे सो वट वी विल बी डूइंग एफ नॉट को टेक द कॉमन वट यू विल बी राइटिंग योर v प्लस वी वन बाई वी माइनस वी वन एंड वी हैव टू सब्सट्रैक्ट नाउ तो यहाँ पे आप लिखो v प्लस वी टू बाई वी माइनस वी टू नाउ वी हैव टू डू द कैलकुलेशन ठीक है इज देर एनी अप्रोक्सीमेशन दैट वी हैव टू टेक हाँ स्पीड देखो यहाँ पे एक चीज दिया हुआ है द कार्स आर मूविंग एट कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड मच स्मॉलर देन द स्पीड ऑफ साउंड यानी कि इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन दैट वी वन और वी टू इज फार फार लेस देन इज फार फार लेस देन वोट वी तो वी माइनस वी वन को हम कैसे सिंप्लीफाई uh, कर सकते हैं वी कॉमन ले लो वन माइनस वी वन बाई वी वी कैन राइट ठीक है एंड इफ वी टेक इट आप देन इट विल बिकम वॉट चलो मैं यहाँ करके दिखाती हूँ वी प्लस वी वन यहाँ पे लिखो तो यहाँ पे वी को कॉमन लिया वन माइनस वी वन बाई वी यहाँ पे माइनस वन का साइन आएगा सिमिलरली यू कैन डू दो थिंग्स योर दैट विल सिंप्लीफाई योर कैलकुलेशन ठीक है जब भी कहीं पे भी अप्रोक्सीमेशन इस तरह का दिया हो इन डॉपलर इफेक्ट वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू डू दैट बाइनोमियल वाला थिंग 
टू सिंप्लीफाई इट क्योंकि देखो ये न्यूमरेटर में अगर रहेगा तो कैलकुलेशन करना डिफिकल्ट होगा टेक इट अपवर्ड इट विल बिकम इजियर तो यहाँ पे आप जल्दी से मुझे करके आंसर बताओ एवरी वन पिक योर कॉपीज पेन डू इट फास्ट कितना आ रहा है बताओ जल्दी से यस सुड आई वेट कर रहे हो तुम लोग वन प्लस एक्स टू दी पावर एन को हम लोग क्या लिखते थे वन प्लस एन एक्स लिखते हैं ठीक है यूज द फॉर्मला यार I want answer from both side. F one minus F two is के बराबर है और ये किसके बराबर होगा? If you remember, one point two percent of F not था ना? So write that also. This whole is going to be equal to how much? One point two percent of F not. So F not F not यहाँ से cancel होगा. Tell me the values now. You have to calculate what V one minus V two. Remember. मैं करूं यार वन बाई बी को कॉमन ले लो ना वन बाई बी यहाँ पे बी है यहाँ पे बी है बी प्लस बी बी वन इंटू क्या आएगा वन प्लस बी वन बाई बी डन माइनस में क्या होगा बी वन प्लस बी टू इंटू क्या जाएगा यहाँ पे वन प्लस दिस इज योर बी टू सो बी टू बाई बी नाउ कैलकुलेट इट बी बी हो जाएगा ये और बी इंटू बी वन बाई बी तो बी वन होगा सो ये होगा बी प्लस बी वन अब आप यहां से इसको फिर से करो प्लस बी वन और बी वन प्लस कितना होगा ये बी वन स्क्वायर बाई बी बी वन स्क्वायर बाई बी नाउ वॉट विल है यहाँ पे आप क्या लिखोगे b1 वन सॉरी दिस इज v प्लस वी टू ना सॉरी दिस इज v प्लस वी टू यार सो v होगा v प्लस हाउ मच यू विल बी राइटिंग v2 टू प्लस अगेन वी टू प्लस क्या लिखोगे यहाँ पे v2 टू स्क्वायर बाई बी अब देखो अप्रोक्सीमेशन हम फिर से यूज कर सकते हैं क्या हमें दिया गया है कि v1 v2 वी टू इज फार फार लेस देन बी अगर v1 वन स्क्वायर बाई बी कर रहे हैं ये और भी छोटा हो जाएगा ठीक है so this will be very uh, like again it can be still here अगर v1 वन मेरा लेस देन वन है तो डेफिनेटली इट इज गोइंग टू बी मोर स्मॉल इवन इफ इट इज नॉट अगेन इट इज स्मॉल क्योंकि वी वन वी टू इज फार फार लेस देन वी इट इज गिवन ठीक है सो इसको इसको हम लोग क्या हटा सकते हैं इस इस टर्म को अब आप यहाँ पे देखो v माइनस वी करोगे ये कट जाएगा यहाँ पे क्या बचेगा ये टू वी वन है और ये टू वी टू है सो टू वी वन माइनस टू वी टू बच रहा है तो यानी कि टू वी वन माइनस वी टू किसके बराबर हो रहा है वन पॉइंट टू बाई हंड्रेड रिमेम्बर यहाँ पे वन बाई वी था सो so ये इस साइड जाएगा तो वी हो जाएगा नाउ द कैलकुलेशन इज डन वी वन माइनस वी टू ही हमें निकालना है बट रिमेम्बर दैट कि यहाँ पे मीटर पर सेकेंड में आएगा आंसर तुम्हें किलोमीटर पर आर में लिखना है सो दैट यू कैन चेंज टू ठीक है चलो नाउ जस्ट रीड दिस क्वेश्चन केयरफुल ठीक है बस रीडिंग के लिए टाइम है अभी के लिए हमारे पास तो एक काम करो क्वेश्चन को सही से पढ़ो टेक थ्री मिनट्स ड्रॉ द इमेजेस इन योर हेड कि यहाँ पे क्या करना है अगेन डू इट डू रीड द क्वेश्चन सॉल्व हम लोग कल करेंगे ड्रॉ द डायग्राम्स फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है वेलोसिटी कंपोनेंट हाउ यू विल बी टेकिंग हेयर
You all understood question? If yes, let me know. Yes. Question, Samaj me aya? Oh my God, let me know. So guess a bit. Chalo, okay. I guess so I don't know. Okay, having tea done. What the question is, there are two main. But the question ko bauti pyaar se padho. Give it some respect. Uh, time and again I'm saying this. Give time to question. Okay? There are two main. And read it slowly. Two men are walking along a horizontal a straight line. Don't be in hurry to solve the question. Give time to reading. After that, get hurry. Okay? So, two, two men are walking along a horizontal a straight line. Do Admi hai. Ek ko mein aise banati hu, dusre ko aise banati hu. What is happening? How they are moving? The man in front. Front mein kon ho gaya? Ye ho gaya. Let's call it A. Or behind ye ho gaya. B. The man in front walks at a speed of one meter per second. And this is walking at a speed of two meter per second. Draw the diagram, very important. A third man is standing at a height of 12 meter above the same horizontal line. Is horizontal line se kitni height pe wo khada hai? Third person yaha hai, 12 meter height pe khada hai. Theke? That is given in our question. Now the two, yaha pe ek chiz aur hai, such that all Three main are in a vertical plane. So, here we have a phone point in a vertical plane. So, this line is here. Here we have a man. Here we have a man. And here we have a vertical line. Here we have a man. So, this is one vertical plane. And this vertical plane only all three persons are situated. That's the question. Okay? The two walking men are blowing identical whistles which emit a sound of ethna. So, this is also blowing whistle. Of frequency F naught, let's call 1430 as F naught. It's also whistling sound of frequency F naught. The speed of sound in air is given. Given that at the instant when the moving main are 10 meter apart, when they are just at the separation of 10 meter at some time, the stationary man is equidistant from them. Again, these two mans are equidistant from them. It means this is 5 meter and this is 5 meter. The frequency Frequency of beats in hertz heard by the stationary man. So this stationary man will hear frequency from first person, B, suppose F1. And it will also hear uh, sound because of second, that is F2. Now you have to F1, F2. Nikalna hai. Beat is F1 minus F2. You have to calculate that. Hai? Either you will do it as a homework or we will do it tomorrow in the class. But uh, if you are highly interested, definitely you will be going and doing this question. Chalo, okay. So let's meet tomorrow. Tomorrow what I will be doing in the class, I will be solving uh, or we together will be solving some questions from wave still, some three, four, two, three questions only. And after that, we will be dealing with AC circuit. Okay. I will just uh, take some 10 minutes to explain in one diagram everything. And then we will be solving some questions. Okay? So, chalo, kal milte hai phir. Bye bye, take care. And stay positive, stay happy, stay healthy. Take sleep properly, take uh, food properly, stay hydrated. Bye bye, take care.